Hey everybody, real quick before the show gets started, we had uh, some technical issues because we are going through a brand new, a whole brand new thing, a whole new setup, a whole new um, format for the show. And because of that, we had some audio problems at the beginning of the show. Uh, people in the chat room were telling us that we were getting really bad echo uh, on the people in the Hangouts. Not me, <laughs> but everybody else. So uh, I fixed it on the fly while we were doing the show live. And um, I'm, I'm coming back now and I'm going to redo the whole intro. And I'm going to read a, sm a short transcript of what was discussed with our guest during that portion. I probably should have started over, but I didn't. Um, we just went with it, so it is what it is. So um, that is how this beginning is starting. Uh, the changes to the show, are basically, so I don't have to go into it later, is that uh, we're focusing more on the game portion of the show um, and our guests are going to come on and they're going to do 15 to 20 minutes of, of interview. So the interviews are cut basically in half. We're going to focus primarily on the sh on the game show so that the uh, the Mythwits is basically pretty much a game show with industry guests. Um, and we'll do a little information on them, much like, you know, you're watching The Tonight Show or something like that or, or The Late Show where they, they only talk to the celebrities for about 15 minutes, if that. Um, but that's what we'll do, something, something along those lines. And we'll give out links. So you get to find out about all the new cool stuff that people are doing. But, um, you know, this is an effort to get a, a repeat audience because we find that people drift in and out because... If we have a guest on that you don't care for, like a gaming guest, maybe you're not into gaming, or uh, if you're just into authors and uh, we don't have an author on for a couple of weeks, then you you know you might not show up or listen for a couple of weeks. But this way, um, you know, people can be interesting for 15 minutes, no matter what they're talking about. Um, so that way you can come and listen to that, and then you can enjoy the game. The game's a lot of fun. Um, so we're trying out some stuff. I beefed up the games. The games are, are way better uh, than they used to be. No disrespect to Mike. But uh, we actually focused on that much heavier, uh, and I'm running the games now. So it should be good. All right, no more jibber-jab for me. I'm going to do this. Like an ingrown toenail, only more painful. Hey, bitches, we're back for the month of November. It's all it's the all-new Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture. Every week, we invite industry folks to come on and play games and to talk about the ever-expanding Geekoverse. I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me this week is Mike Kafis, Jack Ballard, Stephen Wallet, and John Walker. Stephen Wallet is a producer and director who has been involved in more than 100 film and television productions that you have never heard of. He is the author of Blasphemous Cocktails and the owner of Nerd Rage News. Steve has been a gamer since 1978 whose love of role-playing games has been the driving force in his life. He is directing, and now a word from a gamer, uh, a documentary about tabletop games, his show Behind the Curtain, interviews celebrities, and explores the real people behind the scenes. John Walker is an author, IT guy, Green Lantern, Chippendale dancer, and uh, inspiration for the hit TV series Walker, Texas Ranger. Oh, and he's also the department head for Balticon. Uh, he is the creator for the Statford Chronicles, a noir detective of the gods, and soon to be published Road to Salvation, a post-apocalyptic western. Uh, and then I went on to start interviewing uh, Steve first, and uh, I asked him, what is the Nerd, Nerd Broadcasting Network? And uh, I'm going to paraphrase what he said. I'm not going to go word for word. Uh, it just be kind of weird, I think. But uh, he basically said, we're starting a 100% nerd television station. It will be on smart TVs, Roku, and anywhere else we can get it. We've already licensed hundreds of old movies and serials like Flash Gordon and Undersea Kingdom. Things from the 1930s on up to modern times. We're hoping to be able to give independent filmmakers a platform to show their creations. 75% of all movies don't get distribution. Our goal is to give them the opportunity to get the distribution so we can see stuff that the gatekeepers of Hollywood tend to keep from us. Uh, for good or ill, right? <laughs> the motto will be free for people uh, to watch programmed content, but for a small fee, they will be able to access all the content on demand. All right, that's all we covered during the Echo. Uh, I'm just going to let the show roll, so here we go. And uh, we're waiting for it to come around on the guitar. Hey, that doesn't that sound echoey. 
That, I think that fixed it. All right, let's move forward then. I, I, I'll fix Ooh. something. All right, uh, so... So anyway, so Steve, I was thinking that, um, and, and people let us know if you hear the echo, if it comes back or whatever. I didn't really fix it or whatever. I think I did. But um, it's fine. It's fine. This, this month is, is a lot of testing and stuff, so whatever. Uh, so Steve, you know, we were talking about doing a creature feature type of thing. Because, you know, like, uh, you, um, uh, you, you got creature features that are local in every state and stuff. And we had we had Dr. Paul Bearer down in Tampa, which I loved. And I can't even remember who we had up here in Baltimore, but I, he wasn't didn't impress me. Um, and of course, there's Elvira. Um, now you were talking to somebody as a possible prospect, maybe. Yeah, I actually there's a uh, local guy uh, named Chris who has a program that he goes through looking at just about every horror movie that there is and sci-fi movie that there is, and he he knows details about them far beyond my own personal knowledge and i think i'm pretty damn knowledgeable so it amazes me when i talk to this guy because he makes me feel like an idiot but oh, i gotta meet this guy <laughs> i really think that he would be awesome for doing a creature feature or a mystery science theater or 3000 type of show where we put the show on have him do the commentary maybe throw a few other guests on to do it on a weekly basis like every friday night at midnight or something yeah. like that yeah. Now, does he look? Does he look creepy? Could you? I mean, is he like something we could come up with? A, uh, a, a, <laughs> no, we, we've know. got Steve for that already. <laughs> no, 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 these these, these show hosts. Is there a sort yeah, of no, no. dudes all of a sudden? He, he okay. looks. He looks uh, kind of like uh, Fat Albert. If Fat Albert lost about fifty pounds. So okay, <laughs> like Corey. No, Corey's too fat. <laughs> okay. Oh, Corey's sorry. fat, Albert, but gained fifty pounds. Sorry. Right. Oh, Corey, come on. Damn. Corey. What is he? Wait, does that make him extra fat, Albert? <laughs> All right. I've had enough internet for tonight. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's awesome. No, I, that would be that's cool. Our, that's our friend Corey. We and love you know Corey. What? Come on now. Hey, you know what, Steve? That would be cool because how many creature feature host type people have you seen that were black? I don't. I've never seen. I've never seen them ever. I've never cast seen one either. We could fucking break that barrier. Absolutely. And he already has a YouTube show, though I can't tell you what the name of it is because my memory sucks. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey, Steve. We're we're breaking the ceiling. <laughs> is it glass ceiling? No, not really. It's not. Maybe it's the floor. Uh, you can step down to our level. Uh, all right. So cool. Fantastic. And um, uh, so you have, but you also have Nerd Rage News, right? You still, you're still doing that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still doing Nerd Rage News. Uh, we're still doing uh, the occasional reviews and things. But because we've been focusing so much on getting the television station going, I've really been dropping the ball on maintaining uh, current content with the channel. Right. What I'm hoping is, as we move forward with uh, the movie about to come out, that I won't be so locked in with all these other projects, and I'll be able to focus more directly on one. All right, cool. Yeah, and that, and that project is? Well, that's uh, the gaming yep. video that we made together, you know? Yeah. Uh, oh. And now a word from a gamer, which we are changing the title to just a word from a gamer. It'll, it'll flow a little bit easier in the... Um, convention circuit oh that's good yeah. you know what i didn't even think of that because we were talking about we we're talking about making a, a shorter name because of the way the the circuit likes it they like to have you know very short names for for these movies uh and there was all these different suggestions but i like that a word from again it's, a, it's just an easy shortening of it and it still keeps the same kind of uh the title basically absolutely and the film is done except for the musical score which is late okay all right cool Cool, cool, fantastic. All right, John, Mr. Walker. Yes, sir. Texas Hi. Ranger. Chippendale, Texas Ranger. That's yes. what I want to oh, see. Man. What may I do to you? I, I want to see. For a, you. For you. For I want to see a stripping Texas Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> and people on hell one ice water. Guess what? <laughs> so. <laughs> so John, you, 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 you've written a few books, have you? Just a couple. Just a few. Stratford. What's that? Stratford. Stratford. No. Not, not Stratford. My, no, I was imitating what Pete would call it. Cause oh. That's he, true, yeah. Because I fuck up everything. I mean. The, Strat, the Stratford Chronicles. <laughs> no, God, no. no. Well, I mean, come on, give me a break. I've been tweeting about it all day, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I'm just giving 
So, so the Stratford Chronicles. What? This is a detective to the gods, right? Sorry, trying to keep the train on the track there. <laughs> pardon yeah, pardon the, my yeah, driving. The, the Stratford Chronicles is uh, about a private detective of the gods uh, set in my local area of uh, Hampton Roads, Virginia. And uh, he gets his ass kicked, but he also fights you know, the good fight and everything like that. I'm doing, I'm actually doing a, uh, working with another, um, another writer, uh, August Grappen, uh, who's doing kind of a side, a side, uh, shot off of the, uh, off of the main story. Mm-hmm. So, uh, which is, which is really just was just all is just amazing. The, the guy's just freaking awesome. And I've got another couple of, uh, offshoot series that are coming out yeah spoilers <laughs> but Sweet. uh they are they're all prequels the um oh, okay next cool. book yeah the uh, next uh, statford chronicle comes out next in the next few months so uh prior to balticon so i'm excited i am very excited about that that's cool so you probably you have a book launch there or i mean i know it's coming out before then are you gonna do uh like a like a grand opening type event for it or yep yeah, me okay. yeah, me and Gus are gonna do what we did last year and uh, release at the same time. So, all right. So this, this grappling guy, right? This here grappling. Yes. Guy. Um, Gus. I, I'm I'm trying to put things together. Did is he part of the Melting Podcast? He certainly is. Him and Aaron Kasmar are okay. Outstanding. They're they're part of the family of choice. So. Okay, I I thought so because we're recently doing a promotion, like a cross promotion with them. And I recognize right. that name, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I, I see, okay, there's, right, I got it, okay. The stream's crossed, yeah, thank the, you, John. Yes, <laughs> the streams have crossed in more ways. <laughs> uh, that was almost funny. And, um, but, uh, no, we, I've, I've known Gus since almost, be, like, almost before my fourth book came out. And okay. uh, so, and we, this is just recent. So he's he's got a plan for 10 novellas. I've got 21 books that I'm doing. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what Erin's wow. doing. <laughs> she's gonna. She's gonna do a ton. And uh, Erica Pryor, my editor, is doing several uh, novellas for uh, for uh, the uh, called Memphis Beat, as a matter of fact. So. Mm. All right. Now. All right. I got a question yeah. real, real quick because. Uh, John, oh, I'm shit. I'm throwing you out here. You, I'm I'm gonna unbury the lead here. Uh, someone had a very emotional live video and uh, shared it with the world, and I personally was a part of it, and I appreciated it. Would you please share with us what emotional, life changing event uh, took place last? What was it? Either Thursday or Friday? I can't. Oh, remember. last Friday. Yeah, I'm currently unemployed, and. Uh... <laughs> Oh no! Uh, yeah, I'm on. No, I start. I started a new job Friday, but um, it was a. It was very cool. I'm actually uh, going to another company, and I'm as a day job, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling, which will allow me to do a lot more writing. There oddly you go. enough. And, well, congratulations uh, on that. Thank you. And uh, yeah, and Mike was there. Jack wasn't there. Peter wasn't there. And, no, they're heartless assholes. I'm your guy. Right. I yeah. don't remember that. Fight the power, brother. And uh, God, Dude, we're going to get killed on this, man. I'm just, I, yeah. I was but, conning, um, man. I, I was a con all weekend. I, th- I think, uh, you know, uh, Pete actually may, may have taken the time to actually uh, push the like button. I think he did, maybe. I, I think he did. It's okay. Yeah. I still love him. No, I, <laughs> but, I, I'll, but I'll tell you. Um, Steve is uh, I'm I'm loving the idea of that uh of that channel though. I, I actually was looking you up while I was uh while you were talking. That's some really cool stuff, man. Cool. I, I <laughs> hope that uh I hope that it's as satisfying as you hope it will be. Well, I, I it sounds like it. I'm, sounds like it does sound like a lot of fun though. So and, and who knows? I actually um have some uh, folks doing uh scripts for the for the chronicles so you know hey we, yeah, we yeah. should talk after this then yeah yeah my people my people will call your people i am that's awesome i am michael so 
Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, yeah, you can call me. Hey, hey Jack, you guys could get get the uh, the guys from Movie the Podcast to uh, talk about Steve's channel because they won't be critical. Oh at all, yeah, right? for sure. <laughs> they only review like terrible movies um, oh. or or really bad movies so, or or you know like low low fi movies. So it would be good. Yeah, it'd be good for them. Some kind of promotional gangbang going on. It'd be fucking great. <laughs> yeah. All right, so there's. Gang. There's something that we all have in common that that I noticed in uh, in the in the, the notes the show notes that um, so John Walker you write about mythologies and Steve I know you're a mythology nut right and Jack I know Absolutely. you know a shit ton about mythology too right I mean like ancient mythology and stuff mm-hmm. so before we get into the game let's yeah. let's do a little just a little group chat on uh, on on what your what your all's favorite mythology you know and and John since you're our guest and since you write about mythology I'm gonna put you on the spot. Uh, and and I know you. I'm sure you like a lot of mythology, but just pick one. Pick a favorite child. What's your favorite? Oh damn. Um, I gotta go with the Gre- I mean, the Greco-Roman. I mean, mm-hmm. just because one, everybody knows it. Two, you had Zeus, who was the randiest bastard on the ever. <laughs> Seriously, right. it's like, oh look, it's female, and and just going to town on it. Um. And just it, it's it really read. I mean, if you really look at the at the mythology of uh, the of the Greco Romans, that was the Manson family on acid. Okay, <laughs> so everything on Mount Olympus was just like everybody was boning everybody, mortal, demi human, and god. And it was just like you read through it, and you're like, how the fuck did we survive, man? So it was a lot. <laughs> So that that is that's usually the uh, the well I go back to uh, okay. when I'm doing when I'm when I'm writing. So all right, cool. And, and Steve, I know you're well versed. I mean, you you are like a mythology mythology nut, and you know all kinds of shit. What what is your favorite? Well, my favorite, unfortunately, is not a real mythology. It'd be the Cthulhu mythos, man. Right. Boy, if of it course. stops blowing your fucking <laughs> mind, it ain't worthwhile. Right. <laughs> you, you say that now, like with, like any of the other mythology was real. Mythologies, I'll go with Norse, mm-hmm. but it has to be Cthulhu for me, man. All right, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, can't disagree with that. One. And, and Jack, Jack, what do you what do you like? <laughs> I like all kinds of mythology. I listen to a podcast called Myths and Legends. Yep. Uh, which goes into all kinds of uh, really old uh, myths and, and legends from all kinds of, all over the world. It's a fascinating podcast. Um, but I really like uh, I really like Norse mythology. I like uh, Russian uh, mythology. They have some really oh, yeah. cool, interesting stories. Um, and uh, and Native American mythology is really interesting as well. Egyptian myth. I mean, there's so much. There's so much of it. Um, and it's all it's all very redundant. The same kind of uh, things keep coming up in each one. And it's interesting to see how different parts of the world handle certain issues. So uh, yeah, that, I'm a big fan. But those would probably be my favorites. Okay, and and Michael. Uh, really big into the Christian mythology. This whole yes. Jesus thing, I love it. <laughs> yes. Did I see? Did I steal your answer, Pete? Yes, you did. No, that was giving my joke. That was giving my joke well, answer. Well, I mean, if you look at, I mean, if you're looking at it, at it from an anthrop, you know, like not necessarily an anthropological point of view, but from just the whole idea. I mean, you started off with Zeus who, having this flowing white beard and lightning bolts and, sh- and flowing robes and that was the kind of the popular version of of god and you know of the judeo-christian god and it just kind of you know everything led up to it and uh, the christian and christianity and please steve or somebody correct me if i'm wrong christianity borrowed liberally from everybody absolutely so yeah. Yeah, so oh, yeah, it was so, a what, so creative it, commons. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> <Commons. laughs> yeah, creative commons. So I mean, you would see a lot of um, just bleed over from past mythologies, uh, especially the pagan um, holidays that we we all celebrate now. Um, and before I nerd out too much, terribly sorry. <laughs> um, but it oh, was I love it. to me. It's just to me. It just saw 
you know, when I started writing writing these books, I was like, I'm going to piss some people off writing this. And I was right. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, my second book was, hey, you know, the devil's not such a bad guy after all. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it turned, but it turned into, you know, the, it it show it it humanized the gods, and and uh, that not a lot of people can actually really handle stuff like that mm-hmm. when you start when you start not necessarily attacking, but doing in their opinion, late kind of lampooning or minimizing their belief systems. And that's fair. Which, yeah. That's fair. And I, and I, yeah, and I try to treat it res- with respect. I mean, I do. I mean, I, I had my editor. Oh, God, my editor almost raked me over the coal. She's like, you cannot have this part in here. You cannot have the devil be forgiven. I was like, why? I was like, sure you can. Why sure. not? Yeah. Isn't that the whole point of, you know? And uh, it took one of the... Uh, church elders at her church i think it was this was five years ago i'm old i can't remember shit but who's who said yeah that could have happened you know sure. so and it was, and, it, know, was kind of, it was funny to me you know i, I, hey, I, I always I, get a kick out of it if you go back and look at uh like old testament stuff you cannot find a single incident in the old testament where the devil does anything wrong except in the incident of the book of job where he made a bet with god yeah, yeah. Yeah, the uh, devil gets in trouble for telling the truth, right? Yeah. Every time he tells the truth, you know, he gets he gets the shit kicked out of him. He's like, man, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking out for these people. But uh, any, well, the devil went down at Dundalk. He was looking for a car to steal. Oh, but my no. my favorite. Now my my favorite mythology. I have to I have to go with the uh, with Norse mythology as well. I just find it. They're just the most fun stories. Like, um, you know, a lot of these other mythologies, they make their gods out like crazy. Like, when you talk about uh, the Greeks, if you get into their, like, their demigods, um, their heroes and stuff, they, they keep, they're fun. They're fun to follow. But, like, when you get into the Zeus and, the, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, Poseidon and, 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 and such, it gets too crazy. Like, they, they're just, I can't relate as well uh with norse mythology you can kind of relate with him until they get into the really freaky shit like what loki does like some of the stuff he does like i don't know what he turned into a horse and had this other horse have sex with him he's a female horse right and then he birthed uh um odin's uh steed right and i think odin steve no <laughs> odin's odin steed the the, the sixth or eight, oh, eight legged oh steed yeah, oh, eight legged eight legged well, odin steed is my porn name could you please keep it alpha here thank you odin steve <laughs> <laughs> but but some of this stuff gets really crazy and i'm uh, you know but most of it's pretty relatable and i like the fact that the gods that the the, the norse gods not only can die but are expected to die right so that that's kind of cool i don't know just they, they're just just neater stories all right. Well, I, we got a. Our show is changing a little bit, so we're, our interviews are, are being cut a little bit short, and we're focusing on the game a little bit more. So uh, let me give out links here. So Steve Wallet, he has uh, the Nerd uh, Nerd Broadcasting Network, and he you can find him at uh, nerdragenews.com and nerdbroadcastingnetwork.com. And John Walker is an author, does a lot of books, got a lot more on the way. Uh, you can find him at Walker's edgepublishing.net uh, you can also find him on Amazon under John G. Walker and you can and, and, and what do you on Twitter John because it's like Walker some three numbers and you're impossible to find as oh, I spent an hour today what? Huh? Walker 875 Jesus Christ I'm not bitter <laughs> alright <laughs> I am going to oh god here we go. I'm going to switch over to the game portion of the show and hope it goes over okay. <laughs> Keep everything crossed, whatever it is. Just cross it right uh, now. 875, uh, isn't that the police code for uh, uh, pornography? I don't, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. Maybe. Switch it over. Huh. Oh, cross your now. fingers. Now. All right. It's game time with the Mythwits. I'm your game master, Peter Bryant. And on this episode, we are playing Survey Says. 
Uh, we have conducted a survey with our panel of geeks. You must do your best to guess the five most popular answers to these survey questions. Most popular answer will give you five points. Uh, on down to the least popular answer of one point. So it's five, four, three, two, one. Got that, Mike? Wait, uh, no, I, I, I was I was typing something. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention. What? <laughs> no. You'll you'll see. We'll we'll go through it. But basically, I'm going to oh, ask good. you. Good. I'm going to ask you a question. Ask you all a question. We'll go around the room. I'm going to ask you all a question. Uh, that I put a survey out. 100 geeks answered this survey. Your goal is to pick the most common answer that geeks would have picked. Not the one you would pick, but the one you right. think most people would pick. The number yeah. one answer gets five points. Number two gets four and on down the line to, to one point, to the number five answer, which is one point. It's real simple. Uh, I will read out the question and player one will answer, followed by player two and so on. We'll circle back around and give everyone a second chance. The next question, we'll start with player two and we'll go around the room in the same way. Each player will get one chance to go first. The player with the highest score at the end of the game wins. Easy peasy. What do we win? Uh, stuff and things. Uh yeah. <laughs> a Laurel and Hardy handshake through the right. internet. <laughs> right. All right. So what I need to do now is I need to share my screen. And there it is. So there we go. All right. So everybody can see this. I'm hoping. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, crap. Fantastic. Yeah. Making me put on my glasses. <laughs> no, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to ask you not to read it. He's going to read it to you. I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. All right. So we're going to start. Uh, we'll start with Mike because he's the first on my list. Uh, okay. Mike. And I'm keeping score. I got my score thing right here. All right. So Good. I'm ready. Good man. All right. Uh, we might have practiced this just a tiny bit. All right. So, uh, so Mike. Yes. I asked 100 Geeks, who is your favorite X-Man? What was the most popular answer, Mike? Uh... I'm going to say I'm going to say Wolverine. Wolverine is Boom, Top don't hate answer, John. Baby. Don't hate. I saw you hating. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Top answer. All right, my next contestant is Jack. Jack? No. Who else? I who want else? to say Wolverine. I'm I'm going to go with uh I think Storm. Storm. Maybe a fan favorite. All right, Jack goes for Storm, and Storm is number five. It's on the board. All right, my next uh, contestant is Steve. All right, Mystique. Mystique. Mystique is... Sorry, Steve. Oh, that's bullshit, Mystique. Steve. You Mystique. got robbed, man. She did Mystique not make... Hot. She did not make I the agree. top five. I agree. <laughs> hey, it's not who I would pick. I, this is 100 Geeks. You blame them. All right, John Walker. You suck, 100 uh. Geeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I should I should point out, because it's important timing. People have referred to this before. Timing is important. This survey was done within the last six weeks. Oh, Christ. Uh, I'm going to go with Gambit. Uh, F it. I have no idea. Gambit. John Walker Gambit is a... Uh, no go. I liked All your right. first answer. I think Christ would have been a very popular X-Men. <laughs> so we'll go back around to Mike. Christ wasn't an X-Man, though. Hey, I Mike, are you keeping true. score? Mike, Mike, I don't think you're keeping score. You don't? I don't see it in well, the thing. I well, I, I see it in the dock, so that's your problem, buddy. I see it in my dock. Seriously, right. though, I do. All so, right, hold on. Hold on. Is. Again, this is, this is brand new, so give me a second here. Let me... Let me check. I think it's see. user error. So, I should have said Colossus. Damn it. Ugh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check to see what's going on here. Why is it not displaying it? Oh, it is displaying it, it now. Is. And there it is. All right, so that's it's just that's a weird artifact. I had it minimized, so it wasn't showing it. Okay, okay, all right. All I right, I see Internet. it on the screen. Oh, now you're, oh, you refreshed it. Okay, I yeah. see it now. Very refreshed. All right, hold on. Let me get this back. Uh, get that back. Okay, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? I know. <laughs> All right, that's Whose fine. Balls that I have to fondle. I'll just do it the other way. That's fine. Okay. All right, you're gonna see my, my my cursor on the screen, but whatever. All right. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, oh, shit. Uh, it's back to me again. You said so. I am going to say. Let's see. 
a favorite X man. Uh, I'm gonna have to say not Professor X, but I'm gonna have to. S- oh, 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 Magneto. Yeah, duh. Magneto. All right, hold on. Oh, this thing has done fucked me up. Hold on, give me a second. Magneto. Okay, Magneto is a. Uh... Sorry, Mike. What the <laughs> shit biscuit? All right. Technically. All right, Jack. Um, I believe the kids today really like the Deadpool guy. Deadpool. I'm go Deadpool. Oh, I don't know if you can call him an X Man though. He he has spent time as an X Man, but he yeah, was not picked. But on I the mean, list. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve. He's not on the list. You're not even on the list. Deadpool isn't even on the board. <laughs> not not the top five. Oh. He's a hundred geeks in a nursing home. How? Who did you? Okay. Go ahead. Steve, what you think? Oh, let's go with Jean Grey. Jean? Any of her iterations. Right, so Jean, Jean Grey slash Phoenix. Marvel Girl. Uh, the Phoenix Force. Uh, yeah, that's Dark a Phoenix. Yeah, that's Phoenix a big rising. old. Chick who died 150 times and just wouldn't shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. She's not on the board either. All right, John Walker, you got the last chance to get a point. Colossus. Colossus. I don't think he was an X man. Oh yeah, he was. Never mind. That Colossus. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. No go. All right, time. Jeez, we gotta see the answer. I'm gonna say Ice Man. I'll bet you it's <laughs> no, Ice no, Man. I should have no, said that. No, that's it. That's it. All right. So for this round, number two answer was Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Number three answer was Rogue. And the number four answer was. Professor, Professor X. X. We right, can so, read, Mike. Thanks. Well, yeah, thanks. Mike. You're you're hundred geeks suck, man. Okay. They, first of all, they, that's they, what you do <laughs> on The Price Is Right. You read it, so get used to it. I think you mean Family Feud, Mike. It is. It's totally right. Family Feud. Give me a second here. This this thing is not working out the way I wanted it to. So hey, I Richard pull this Dawson off. was my favorite X Men. Was he? <laughs> He had the power of hugs and kisses. <laughs> hugs and kisses. He was he was uh, all of his ex uh, ex wives' favorite X man. So. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure he got right. a bunch of them too. No, if I remember correctly, he stopped doing that because his wife was in you know in respect to his wife. I thought he quit because of the Running Man movie. Oh, the Running. <laughs> uh, oh my God, I love that. Was that movie. an awesome movie, dude. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I mean, it's it was, time it's, to start running. All right. Why was I, this thing? It was cheesy. It was terrible, but it was so much fun. Yeah, who I love loves that. you and who do you love? All right, I'm running into an issue with this stupid thing. Give me a second. I know we're we're um we're we're bad time for you. I yeah. know. I'm, I'm trying to get it to go back to do the thing that it's supposed to be doing, and it's I can't I know. get it. There we go. Oh, okay. I know that. That's awesome. That's uh. Ooh. I, I can name that uh, program. We and, asked 100 geeks to no. mess with our soundboard. And... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next one. Oh, uh, if you think that would be best. All right. <laughs> maybe I can. Uh, hold on. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, babies. Uh, maybe I can put this over here. And it'll keep the score going. It's, it's really weird. It's really weird. It has to do with like what screen I have up at the moment. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll do. Who is your favorite Sith Lord from canon? So none of the books or comics or anything that's not part of Star Wars canon. This is only for canon, and it's not you know. Um. Anyway. Uh, right. <laughs> so I will start with uh, Jack. Jack, you get the first go with this one. Name your favorite Whoa. Sith Lord. My favorite, my favorite is Darth No, 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 Maul. no. No, no, um, the, the, the audience's so, favorite. Yeah, I know. But I don't care about them because they've already betrayed me. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and say Darth Maul. Darth Maul. I'm, I'm playing, I'm breaking all the rules. All yes, right. you are. All right, Jack. Darth Maul? Yes. Number two. Yeah. I'm a boy for go. four points. All right, uh, Steve. Well, I gotta go with Vader since I've adopted his theme song. 
Fantastic. Darth <laughs> Vader. Darth Vader is number, number one. one. Number one number one answer. Um so that brings me down to John. John, give me a give me a Darth. Shit. Uh Yeah, they took the two that you. Like, God, shit! Now yeah. I gotta think of actual names. There's only two. <laughs> Always two. There are. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go with uh, Darth Sidious, the Emperor, whatever. All right, Darth yeah. Sidious. Hey, I, I'm on the board. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and then we're back up to Mike. Oh, hold on. That was the two points. Let me get his two points on the board. Okay. Uh, I was I was gonna say Darth Sidious, but now I can't. Right. So uh, I guess I'm gonna have to say uh, Snoke. 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 Well, Mike, I'm I'm gonna give you a pass on this. One. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you take that one back because we don't know if he's a Darth Lord yet. Not been Bitch, revealed. He's a Dark Lord. We Shit. don't has not been revealed yet. So I did not put him in the in the in the contest. All right. So uh, <laughs> shit. Um, uh, do I have to get the name or can I like describe the guy? Cause I, I can't remember his name. Fine. I'll let you get close. Uh, the dude who was, uh, oh shit. The dude that oh. I'm sure. Today, Mike. Today. The there were the several, there were several Darth, Darth, uh, Darths that I oh know. shitted. All right. Uh, <sighs> God damn it. I can't Pick a movie. I'm. I'm t- uh, uh, it was in the the second or the third movie. The big beard. He talks. No, I can't. You mean remember. you mean you mean uh, Christopher Lee? The guy that Christopher yeah, the old, Lee. Yeah, yeah, it's like an old one of the old the old ah, guy. Not the Count uh, the, Dooku. Count yeah, Dooku. Uh, yeah. Count yeah. Dooku. Uh, sorry. Count Dooku. Is he came in at number six, Mike? Fuck. All right. Oh, well. uh, we're back to Jack. Are there any left? Who's left? Yes. Uh, Anakin Skywalker. No, he's That's... Vader. Oh, yeah. Well, spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> too soon. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, yeah. uh, how about uh, General Grievous, the robot with all the lightsabers? Is he a Sith Lord? No, he was not a Sith Is Lord. He's just a robot. He's just a robot. Oh, he should be. He should be. Uh, uh, I was gonna say Count Dooku. Fuck. Um, shit. Uh, um, Darth Mo- uh, uh, Darth Plagueis. Isn't that who he talks about in the room with the Darth, bubble goo? Darth Plagueis is a. <laughs> but he was number seven. He was one of the ones that was picked. It's just below number five. He was number seven. Gotcha. All right, okay. uh, Steve. You gotta know another one. You're a Star Wars nut. All right. Our, when we say canon, we're saying only the movies. Or are you including the other things that are called canon? They can be other what? things that are canon. Like there was um, a book that came out recently that talked about um, talked about the history. Okay, I'll take of... Darth Revan. Darth ah! Revan. Oh yeah, good choice. Number three, Steve. Good job. Oh, fuck! Why didn't I think of that? Ain't nobody know nothing about no damn Dark Revan. <laughs> Dark yeah, he Revan. was in Knights of the Old Republic. He was the main it, character in Knights of the Old Republic. My it, girlfriend actually just texted me and said, hey, say Dark Revan. And I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't know no Dark Revan. What's a Dark <laughs> Revan? <laughs> this thing got phone, he got phone a friend. What the hell? <laughs> what's what's the Dark Raven? All right. <laughs> so John Walker, one last go. Darth Malik. Why not? Darth Malik. Oh, yeah. Did not make the list. Nope. Wait a minute, Steve got uh, three for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, bah, 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 bah. That was John. Mike, you're the last one. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I did. Darth Ball. <laughs> Darth Balls. Darth Balls. <laughs> Darth Balls. <laughs> That would be the best fuck. That's it, Steve. We play Star Wars again. I'm becoming Darth Balls. All right. Darth Balls. Right. Unfortunately. No, 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 no. Not Darth oh. Balls. Darth Ball. Okay, all right. Not, not, still up. One. God damn it. <laughs> right, number five. What is it? Darth Bane. Bane. Oh, Bane. Bane. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't know about no damn Darth Bane. And then Darth- yeah, he was, yeah, he was in the lightsaber rises, you know. Uh, and and T- Dooku was Tyrannus. That was Darth Tyrannus and Palpatine's <laughs> master, Darth Plagueis. 
Darth Ty anus? Darth Ty <laughs> Darth oh. my anus. All right. Let's go. This to Jedi Knight Rises. Taint. <laughs> Taint the hut. All right. Here we go. Who is your favorite captain from Star Trek? Again, not your favorite oh, captain, but the audience's favorite captain, the geek's favorite captain. Steve, you get to go first on this one. Oh, we're going to make it holy for <laughs> Kirk, there is Kirk. no other captain. The rest of them are lame ass losers. Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> hey, Steve. Oh, I, oh Steve. Steve. We're going down, Good we going this, down. This one should have just had one one answer. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, top one answer is on the board. <laughs> right. Top only answer is on the board. Steve, Angelia would love you for that. But it was number two. Oh! Oh, and just hey, just so you can see this number over here oh. in the middle, that's the percentage of 100 geeks. So number one was fucking over the top. So wow. uh, stupid so, ass. So John Walker, who's the? Who, oh wait a minute, who just got that? That was uh, Steve. That was Steve. Oh, John Walker, give me the number I'll one. I'll go captain. with Captain Picard. Captain Why? Because he's a Jean badass. Jean-Luc Bouillard. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. Number one, 57 percent of the geek verse picked Jean-Luc. Not even a contest. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. Um, that was John. That Mike. Give yes. me a captain. Uh, Captain. Underpants. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to, but I'm gonna go Janeway. Janeway. Number four. Uh, Gets me two points. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you got your two <laughs> points. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Mike. Uh, Jack. 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 I think. Captain that, Jack. Uh, <laughs> I think that uh, I, his name just went out. He's got the red button that lights up. When it, and he's all <laughs> Archer. In the, in I got the, you. Nope. In the box. What's the Archer. Pike. Pike. No, Pike. Pike. That's Pike. Pike. Captain Pike. Jack. Captain Pike Captain is. Pike. Uh, he was number seven. Uh, what? Number seven. Come on, he's handicapped. You can't give him a special spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I that I. You should. You should. <laughs> You should. This, this game is not very progressive. I, doesn't he? And he no doesn't he get a diversity? Reinhardt. Captain Sulu is not canon. He gets. He gets. A, he Captain gets. Sulu. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah, get the hell out of here with your Sulu. Captain Pike he gets a diversity award. Uh, all right. Um. Uh. So that was. Uh, that was Jack. <laughs> Jack. Uh. Steve. Steve. Uh, I'm blinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll do Cisco. Cisco, Benjamin Cisco. Number three. Hello, oh, oh, bitch ass Cisco. I tell you what. All right, John. I'm a Archer. Why not? Why? Archer. Everybody loves Scott Bakula. I love. I love Jonathan <laughs> Archer. I thought he was a great captain, but unfortunately, he came in at number sure. six. Oh man. Uh, all right, so uh, we're back to Mike. <laughs> To me, oh, uh, I thought, no. Oh, did, um, did we get around twice? No, not yet. Hmm. Dead air. I, I Come don't on, Mike. know what this dude's name is. I'm bad with the names, you guys. Oh, Jesus, just get, just give me like a description or something, you guys. He's well, like, the, does the freaking captain of the new one, the new one now that's just out, but it's probably not even. You mean the STD? Yeah. Yeah. That's Philippa Giorgio or something like that. No, no, that's yeah, some that's him. that's some other one. No, he did, that captain you're talking about didn't make the yeah. list. <laughs> yeah, the one you don't know the name of and you think right. it is, it's not. Yeah. It's not that. All right, All right. <laughs> Jack. Shit. Um, I'm out of Star Trek captains. Um, those are all the ones I'm aware of. The new Star Trek, they like fly around space on mushrooms. Is that is that true? Yeah, yeah. I've read that in an article. That's, that hey, were, that's yeah, how I, I that. like. Um, hey, that's how I, I like think, to fly uh, around space. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's close to my heart. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at um, John. Who's the captain on the new show? What's her name? Uh, they already did that. It was a. It's a he actually. It's a he. Mike already guessed it's that one, and it's it's, it's yeah, a no go. Okay. Dude, I'm Dude, at a loss. What? I don't even hey, know, you know what? Captains. 
for yeah. shits and giggles, maybe say Sulu. Maybe you're right. And yeah. Oh, even. Oh wait, how about Captain Chekhov? Chekhov gets his own boat. No, Chekhov never Chekhov gets his own boat. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. It's gonna be Sulu too. All right, Chekhov. Sorry. It's gonna All be right. Sulu. Everybody's here's, gonna, here's, gonna, the chat's gonna go crazy. Steve, live. you get. Uh, I think it's. Did I? Did I? Oh, I started with Steve, didn't I? You started with me. That's it. Okay. Number five is. Oh my! Oh, you guys are right. <laughs> on Sulu. What kind of bullshit is that? I know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, hello was... there. Hello there. Oh uh, yeah. my! Jonathan oh, Archer my. came in at six. Christopher Pike came in at <laughs> seven. And some like non-screen captain that was supposedly canon. I think he made one appearance somewhere in the background or something. Philippa Giorgio or something tied with Christopher Pike. Oh, oh right. that, was, that was from, uh, I think that, was that from uh, the Enterprise C? Like, it was like one, yeah, it was one episode. Yeah, yesterday's some, Enterprise. Some geek had to pick that one. All right. <laughs> Next. That's the last round. Oh, cool. Would Locutus of Borg been a possible no. answer, though? So no. No? Oh. No. All right, so this one is this yeah. one is going to be a lot of guessing because uh, oh it's, it's choose an Infinity Stone. Now I will go through the Infinity Stones for you. I have notes here to let you know, just so you can educate your guests. And this is also for the audience in case they don't know what the hell we're talking about. You know, the Infinity Stones from Marvel. Uh, there are six of them, uh, so obviously one of them did not make the top five. Uh, they are in order. Now this is not in the order that they're in. This is in the order of their color as RGB. RG RG Biv. So I just did them in the in the color spectrum, so that there is no way you can you can guess which order they came in. Uh, the Reality Stone is red. That is the Aether uh, ability to warp reality at will. The Soul Stone is orange. Has yet to be revealed in the MCU. Uh, oh, by the way, this is all based on the MCU. Uh, Mind Stone, yellow. That is what was in the Scepter and grants the user powerful mental abilities. That's what Vision has in his head. Uh, the Time Stone was green. That's the Eye of Agamato. It controls the flow of time. The Space Stone, stone is blue. That's the Tesseract. That provides user instant access to any location throughout the universe. And the Power Stone is purple. That's the Orb. Increases the user's physical abilities and to manipulate energy. So, John, you get the Jeez. first... Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, time stone. Time stone. Mm, that's a good choice. Good choice. Lucky bastard, yeah. number nice. one wow. guess. Yeah. All right, uh, Mike. Um. Uh, let me see. I am going to say. Uh, I'm gonna say the um, the tesseract. The tesseract. That's the blue stone. Jeez. Blue, yeah. Blue. Blue stone. Good guess oh, there, Mike. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, Jack. I was going to say Tesseract because that's a hot new band right now. Anybody, oh, cool. Okay, if you're yeah. into metal, oh, there's oh, a great yeah. band called Tesseract. Um, but I'm going to go with Yellow. Yellow. Oh, yeah, the Mind Stone, the, right? Uh, the, the, the Mind P Stone. The P yeah. Stone. The that would be yeah. wonderful. All right, uh, Steve. All right, I'll take the one that lets you teleport all over the place. That's the Tesseract. It's already been guessed. Damn it. Sorry. What, what's it. left? Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what's left. <laughs> uh, so we have green, Ether and, and blue. Um, so we have the b -b 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 we have the Power Stone, which is purple. That increases user ability to physical abilities. Uh, to That's from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, you got Guardians of the Galaxy Stone and Thor Part Two Stone. <laughs> Right, give me the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy stone. That's the power stone. That is number four. Good job, nice. Steve. There you go. I, you know what? On on retro thoughts, I should have gone to that one. All right, John, it's your chance again. You can either get another three Steve points or none. Four. All right. So what's left? Uh, um, green, the purple, yellow, stone. and blue. You want the reality stone? The red one. Red. You know what? Are you serious? Redstone oh. didn't make the top as number six, obviously. Nobody so, cared about Thor Stone. So, Mike, this gives <laughs> this this gives you number three. If you if you're 
to do a little right. logic here. Is your brain working good enough to get yeah. the only yeah. one left? Uh, well, I was too busy keeping score. So, uh, <laughs> all right, green, purple, yellow, blue. Shit, what was there? Uh, it's uh, RG, RG Biff, so it's it. there's soul, red. Or soul, soul. Isn't it the souls left, right? That's orange. Yeah, that's it. That's number three. Uh, there we go. And that is game. So it looks like Steve uh, Wallet. Hold on, hold, hold What's on. What's it? Oh, oh, you still yeah, now? Yeah, no. Steve ran away. That's Steve right. ran away with it. Steve with wins with eighteen points. John Walker wow. comes in second place with uh twelve. Mike's oh. in third with eleven. And Jack, next time, buddy, number three, three points. You see, Woo. or number four. See, these go to eleven. Yeah. So. So what did you guys think? So this is the 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 new this is one of the ways I'm going to do the game. They're all going to look similar to this way. It's all going to kind of work the same way. What do you think? I, I think like it looks it. good. All right, cool. So um and and the audience, you guys leave messages and stuff in the in the uh, comments and tell me what you think of the way we laid the game out, whether you like its format or anything like that. Um and that's that. All right, let's wrap this bad boy up. Uh, I got so much hey, shit. Hold on. Right in the beginning, because Steve, in the beginning, we got all this sound problems and this and that. But you did see that I, what I wore for you, buddy, right? I noticed you were wearing my shirt. I saw you right. dancing over there at the beginning yeah. of this. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right. Just, just, had I, to, just had to represent. I thought, oh, he was yeah, I thought that was a bed. sack of potatoes. Was that you, Mike? I thought that was a sack of onions. What? Nah, what that was, nah. oh, it's just, oh, okay. I couldn't see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Any of you guys that are going to Total Con, you know the theme this year is pirates, so I'm going as Captain Harlock. Oh, shit, really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh I call Captain Morgan. Bam! In your face. <laughs> In your oh, face. Oh, sweet. sweet. Captain Morgan. Yeah, you know, I, sh I, I never cosplay or do any of that kind of stuff. I should do something like that one year. You should. I should just walk around with a little barrel under my foot, right, and just keep walking around. You know who I want to do? I want to do Lobot. I want to get the. Cool. I want to get the like the He's cybernetic. Not a pirate. Team. He's it's not, not. Well, not this year. Not as a pirate. No. <laughs> I'm just. I just said it's cosplaying sometime. Uh, all right. Anyway. No, we got the banana costume. This to do right. Uh, I should do that. Yeah. The peanut butter jelly time costume. I don't, is yeah, that too yeah. old? I don't. Jack, what do you think? Is that is that too old? Peanut butter jelly time. I, that's a pretty dated reference, but I got it. I mean, you know, I mean, whatever you want to cosplay. It's, is it's, is it an evergreen, though? I mean, guys, would you consider that there are still people dressing up in original Trek costumes and everything like that? And there are people, there are women who still dress up as Slave Girl Leia. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's those are classics. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. classic. Media diet. Jelly time is like a, a bit on the Family Guy from like seven years ago. Like that's a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, like a that's a little different. And an internet dynasty, dude. <laughs> but, it, the but it was it was one <laughs> of the original. Play the Simpsons all the damn time. It was one of the original gigantic memes, and it's awesome. It's so because I want to get like a like you know like get a get a a speaker like a Bluetooth speaker hooked up and run around. You know, peanut butter. But I think it that might be too dated. It might not work. Hey, I want to go as Kool Aid one year, but I haven't been able to find the costume. Corey yeah. should go as Kool Aid. Yeah, you, smash you, through walls. <laughs> Your uh, your your horseshoe laden ass will find it. I'm sure now that you put it out there. What happened to your American hero? Your greatest American hero? You still got that? I still have it. Yeah. That's I great. And you still got the? Do you still got the oh. Pikachu? Oh. Mike. Yeah, I, Mike loves I wear the that Pikachu. Store sometimes I have people come in and take photos with me. Nice. <laughs> hey, it, I tweet it out. I tweet it out often. I mean, if you need to know what's going on with uh, Pikachu and and Mike. Then you should just find that <laughs> on the interwebs. Pikachu chooses Mike. Oh hey, God. David Benavides says we should we should all do a Harlem Shake. Yeah, because that, that's not that would be, awesome. <laughs> that would be so dumb. Oh. That would be great. It'd be great. Walk dumb. around hey, shaking hey. the whole time. Hey, I'll bring I'll bring all the camera equipment. You guys want to do it? I'll do it. Hold all on. Right. I'll, I'll, let me consider that. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll check with my attorney. I'm gonna reconsider. No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh, no. All right, John. You know what, John? You asked for it. I am so going to tweet you. Pikachu chooses Mike now. 
Yeah. <laughs> Hope you take a sleeping pill because it's the only way you're going to be able to sleep tonight. David, David knows. David Benavides is in the chat room. He knows all about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was, this is so, enough internet for tonight, guys. I. <laughs> I'm feeling violated and not in a good way this time because you all are too. not because you all are not leaving money on the dresser this time. Me too. God. <laughs> all right, let me uh, let me get that, 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 that. Let me get all this shit ready. Oh my god, too many things open, too many windows. I need another monitor, Mike. I need two more monitors. Can you can you can you hook me up with like two more monitors? All right, everybody. Uh, Guys, thanks for coming on again. Uh, everybody, please, 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 please go check out uh, NerdRageNews.com, uh, NerdBroadcastingNetwork.com, uh, WalkersEdgePublishing.net, uh, Amazon.com, forward slash author, forward slash John G. Walker. Hey, Steve, is Blasphemous Cocktails for sa- still for sale? Can, people, can they still buy it? Yeah, it's on Amazon. Okay, look up Blasphemous Cocktails on Amazon. Uh, it's it's an awesome book. If you like drinking, it's the right book for you. Uh, Steve did a bunch of uh, drink recipes for it. It's fantastic. Okay, right. everybody. Let's rock this thing close. So we're going to do that. All right. You've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits podcast. Podcast. Catch us live on Facebook now. Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Please ask our guests questions and make snarky comments. Hey, Mike, we got to watch the chat room. We kind of neglected it this time. Uh, if you I tried, miss- but I mean, there's like, it's got windows all over the place, man. Hey, Jack, maybe we can get you on the chat room, Jack, and you can bug us with it. Uh, oh, I can't read. <laughs> Please ask our guests uh, <laughs> uh, questions There's, and make snarky comments or just talk with each other, whatever. If we ignore you, you know, just start insulting us. We might pick it up. If you miss our live show, you can always catch the Anchor episode at YouTube for slash Mythwits. Uh, we apologize for the echo at the beginning of this one, but it's fixed now. Find us at Mythwits.com and on Facebook and Twitter as Mythwits. Uh, if you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast so you can listen to us on the go at Mythwits.podbean. To the like, follow, subscribe thing, wherever it's appropriate, please give us a bunch of stars and a review on iTunes. Even if you hate us, we'll take the stars. Uh, make sure to share your lie. favorite episode. Lie. Yeah, lie. I just, dare you just to lie. Fuck it, lie. Uh, make sure to share your favorite episode on social media or anything that you would consider favorite. Uh, help spread the word of Mythwits over the entire planet. Uh, Mythwits right. is part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com. Mythwits is also a Creative Commons product like share and blah, 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 blah. Just don't edit and don't <laughs> don't sell it. Make sure to check out Studio27.com for more cool stuff and join our mailing list. Thanks, everybody, for watching and listening and tuning in. And until next week, Mike... Uh, follow me, M I K E K A F E S, on Twitter and follow the Mythwits at Mythwits on Twitter. Please spread the good word. The good word. Only the good word, none of the bad words. Yeah. It's just bird. Bird. Bird is bird. Word.